Do you have two different throws you use in a game and you don't know why? One is maybe more tense than the other? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports and Baseball-Yips.com. In this video, you're going to learn why baseball players go to two different throws at game time. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So one of the questions that I receive from a baseball player is, why do I have two different throws in a game? I use my regular throw to throw down to second base, where I pull it all the way back and I rip it to second base. But when I throw back to the pitcher, I use what's called my safe throw or my blooper throw just so I can get it back to the pitcher. I struggle more with those short throws than throwing down to second base. Why is that? So this is a very common issue for catchers who can long toss it very well. They can throw down to second or third. When they pull it back and they rip it and they just throw it instinctively and intuitively, they can perform uh, relatively well with good accuracy. However, in the most simple throw, which is they consider a short throw, is a lot more difficult for them. And that's where the yips really start to show themselves if you're a catcher. And that is when you throw to the pitcher, you go to a cautious throw, a tentative throw, what I've termed a safe throw. Now that safe throw is not your normal throw, obviously, back to the pitcher. It's got much higher trajectory, it's more of a blooper, but it's more comfortable for you when you have the fear. Remember, the yips are fear-driven. Uh, fear of making a bad throw, fear of looking silly, fear of embarrassing yourself, fear of letting down a teammate, maybe fear of what the pitcher is going to think if you throw it over his or her head, or if you throw it in the dirt back to the pitcher. Some catchers are really concerned with, will that pitcher you know, want me to catch for him or her? And that becomes a source of the fear as well. So you have two different throws because your regular throw is kind of yip free, where you just pull it back and rip it and you don't think about it. That shorter throw, that intermediate throw back to the pitcher, is that safe throw or that cautious throw because it feels more comfortable to you because you think you can get it back to the pitcher more accurately or more efficiently with that throw. But eventually what's going to happen is the pitcher or your coach is going to start asking you why you're lobbing it back to the pitcher and ask you if there's something wrong with your throw. So often it looks like your mechanics change um, when you go to that safe throw. In actuality, your mechanics haven't changed because you can still rip it down to second base or, or down to third base and that your mechanics are fine. But the mechanics change drastically once you go to that short throw because you have to make accommodations for that. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a coach or a teammate start asking you what's wrong with your mechanics. Um, and that's going to start to wreak havoc with you as well. Um, so if you want more information on the throwing yips in baseball or softball, check out my website at baseball-yips. Don't forget the little dash, baseball-yips.com. And there you can download my free report, Eight Mental Strategies to Help You Overcome the Yips. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe to my videos using the button on the upper hand right of this video. In addition, we have two related mental training videos for you to watch. And please jump over to my website at baseball-yips.com and download my free report, 8 Mental Game Strategies to Break the Yip Cycle.